are the most effective business cards that I've ever had. And I'm going to show y'all how to make them today. And I'm going to show y'all the easiest way possible. And let me tell y'all what's so great about these business cards. So if you look at them, especially for my content creators, influencers, or whatever type of service industry that you're in, you see right here, since I'm a creator influencer, when I hand these out to businesses, I want them to picture themselves on my Instagram. So it says your business here. And then it has my media kit and email and the amount of followers that I have right up there. So I'm going to walk y'all through step by step how to create these on Canva. Let's head over. The first thing we do is pull up canva.com. That's C-A-N-V-A.com. And I'm going to put the Canva link in the description to make sure you're on the correct website. But so when it says, what will you design today? You're going to search instagram feed mock-up so i'm actually going to show you two ways in this video so we're going to do the mock-up way and then i'm also going to show you the template that that i created to make it extremely easy for you so when you see the instagram feed mock-ups you can just select the first one they have a couple ones on here that you can select from well not really but for this video, we're going to use the first one. So you'll see at the top, just in case yours comes in a different order, it says Borsell Plants. So we're going to select that one. So it says Blue and White Plants Grid Feed Instagram Story. So we're going to customize this template. And they also have more ones like that. So you can choose different ones that you want to customize. But we're going to use this one because it's the easiest. So we see everything loaded up. Now, in order to get it in the business card format, what you're going to want to do is go to resize and magic switch right here. And then we're going to select custom size, which mine's already has the custom size right here, but I'm going to tell you the custom size so you can just put it in. First, we're going to switch the units to inches. And then for height, our height is going to be 3.5 inches and then our width is going to be 2 inches. And then we're going to select continue. And then it's going to resize this design. So now we have it in the perfect business card size. So the next thing that we're going to want to do to start customizing is at the top. And you can pull up your Instagram page to make sure it matches. So... Put your username, which mine is I am Destiny Adams. You can click this one. Is it gonna let me click it? Hold on. Computer wants to freeze. So now you're gonna select your own image, which my image is. I already have mine in the upload, so you'll need to upload your own image. So let's say I want to choose this one just to make it fun and creative. So you slide the picture over that circle and put it there. So that's my profile picture. And then right here, you'll want to select whatever you want. So this is going to be your business card. It can match your Instagram, however you want to do it. So I'm going to put my name. And then you can put your title. So let's say I put, I'm just going to do Dallas Influencer. Because, oh, and then to make this all on the same line, you're going to pull this right here. And the reason I'm putting Dallas Influencer because the purpose of these cards as an influencer and a content creator is when you go to different events or if you go to different businesses and people want your card, you give them your card, it's going to show your feed down here and it's going to tell them everything that, that, that you do and how to contact you. Now for right here, you can just put what your page is known for. So let's say I put exploring unique finds. Dallas, which I don't have my page in front of you right now, but we're just going to put something right here. Exploring Unique Finds in Dallas. And let's put my email address so they can contact me. And so whatever, typically what I like to do is just copy and paste my bio. Make it nice and simple. And you'll also change how many posts you have. Let's say you have 100 posts and then stretch that out. And I like to make sure everything is even. So when we put 100 right here, so you'll just need to line it up. And the thing that I love about Canva, it gives you the line up lines to make sure everything matches up. How many followers do you have? Let's put, we have, I have 50,000 at the time. So we got 50,000. Let's say we're following 3,000. Okay, so we have that. And then in the website portion, what I did for mine was I actually put the link to my media kit. 
which I don't know it off top. So let's just do Destiny Adams Media Kit dot com. So boom. So you will have all of this right here. We'll have your information, your media kit link, or your website link, your booking link, whatever link you want to put here. But since we're content creators and influencers, it's going to be our media kit links to our social media, which they have your handle right here. So you want to use this link wisely. It could be your link tree, or if you have beacons or one of those, or your stand store. So I keep these the same follow message contact just to keep it with the same Instagram feed. Now this bottom part is where you have to do the work. So typically you'll just be sliding. So you can take screenshots or if you have your thumbnails from your Instagram and you'll place it one by one in here. So let's say I'll just start, I'm just going to put random photos there so you guys can see how a feed will look. Oops. Okay. You want to make sure you get it right in the box. And these will all be photos from your Instagram. Oh, not the, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the middle one. So I'm just doing this really quick to show you guys what it'll look like. Oops, some of these might have duplicate photos. Okay, so that's our feed. So you can either use your Instagram feed or just whatever some of your best photos are just to, for them to get to know you. And make sure you change this photo down here as well. So you have that one up there. You're going to want to put it down there as well. Okay, now for this middle box, what I typically like to do since I am trying to get trying to be booked and busy, I take a white square and line it up. Okay, let's make it white. Or if you want to make it super pop, you can make it black. Let's see what a black one would look like right there. You can make it black so they can see it automatically. And then what we're gonna put. Because we are trying to be booked and busy with our influencing career or our content career. So then we're going to put your business here. And I'm going to show you what a finished one would look like. Then we're just going to change the fonts. So what I typically like to do is use P Sans because it's big and bold. And then I put it in all caps and then we're going to just adjust. Let me make it white too so it can, so we can see it. And then I typically like to adjust it. So we are going to make it smaller. And then we're going to put that. Oops. Right in the center. So when you're passing out these cards, the person that you're giving this card to, they're going to know that you're trying to offer advertising for their business or service. So when they see it, they are going to want to picture their business on your feed to get them some customers. So that's the purpose of these business cards for the influencers and content creators. Now, if you're outside of an influencer or creator, you can still use these cards and just customize it to your industry. So this is what the finished one would look like. And then you'll just change the name to, let's say, Destiny's Business Cards. And then to print them. You'll just download. For this, I like to do PDF. And then to print them out, you can either go to Office Depot, which they'll have you uploaded since you already have the correct 3.5 by 2. And then they'll print it same day. Usually you'll get 50 for, I think it's like $10 or something. And then if you have a coupon, you can get a discount. But so this is one way you can do it. Now, if you want to do it the easiest way possible, what I did for you was create a template. And I'm going to show you how exactly you can use this template. So this is the one that we created. So it's just one card. It has everything simple and easy. But I'm going to show you the template way that's going to be extremely fast and easy for you. So this is the exact business card template that I use for my business. So I'm going to walk you guys through it. And this is one that you can purchase for me. So I did make it just $1 so you can get both sides. So I have a front and a back to this one with a QR code that you can scan and get my media kit. So for this one, same exact as the first one I did was I put my name up here, followers, and all of this is accurate. And I just updated my real biopic 
my real copy and paste from my Instagram where it shows my name. I'm a Dallas content creator, influencer, just showing my lifestyle, finding unique experiences in the DFW. I show how many TikTok followers I have because usually when I'm working with businesses, they want to post it on Instagram and they will also post it on TikTok. And then I have my email address and then this is the actual link to my media kit. This is my actual fee. As you can see, it has the cameras. The best way to do to get this type of feed is just take a screenshot of your actual Instagram feed and then you upload it directly onto here. And in this middle square, that's where you'll put the your business here. So as you can see, like it has a photo under there. So this is my screenshot right here. So I just took my screenshot and I just put it right there. That That's the easiest way to do it. So you're not going through screenshot every single thumbnail that you have and putting it right there. You just screenshot the entire grid and place it here. And then you'll place, let me go back, this white square in the middle one. So, and you'll get the white square from the element. So it just pops up this same white square. You'll drag it right here. Oops. You'll drag it right there and then you'll adjust it. Change the color and then you'll put your business here for you to pass out your business cards. And at the bottom where they have the other things from the from your Instagram profile, I deleted that just to make this bigger. Because I wanted to keep this as big as possible to make it look really clean. And that's the entire business card. And one thing about Canva, Canva allows you to print your business card. So that's another feature of this template. So once you purchase it, it's just a dollar to you can edit every single thing out. And then on the back, what I did was I put a photo because sometimes this is very small for people to read, especially when you're dealing with people who maybe have a degree in marketing. You know, sometimes people's eyes are a little bad, so they need to have it. Basically, they need to have your business card on the back so they can just scan this with their phone and then you'll put your name, your title, your email address is big, your website is big. So when they scan this, this goes to my media kit and then I have connect with me on socials. My name is I am Destiny Adams on every single social media platform. And if you do do this template, so even though mine has this QR code, I'm going to go ahead and delete it and show you how to generate your own QR code. So now it's deleted. And you can also, with this template, you can change the color. So if you want to do something cute, like you want to do something pink, you want to have a little purple, which I'm a little boring. I like to keep mine all the same. Okay. And let's say you want to add some little teals. Like all of this is customizable, change the colors to whatever colors you need for your business. And make it pretty, happy, and cheery. <laughs> I just want to show you how customizable it is. Okay, we're going to make that. We can change that color to more pink. I want to get the background circle. forward there we go oh and then change that black to um, let's do that so if you want to make it cute and then you can swap out this photo put your photo here so whatever you want to do for these and then I'm going to show you how to do the QR, QR code so what you're going to want to do is go to apps right here it says QR code uh, right under popular so select QR code put your URL and I'm just gonna put for this demonstration I'm just gonna put my website just to get it generated I am destinyadams.com generate code I love to keep my QR codes in black and white to make sure they're as readable as possible and then you just put the QR code in the middle and now it's ready to be scanned so if I actually Take my phone, scan it, and you want to do this just to verify that it is going to your website or whatever link you want it to go to. So I just put mine in, and yes, it is going to my website. And now I'm all set. So if you want to get these printed and Canva will send it to you, it says Canva charges for 100 business cards, $21. They'll do front and back, and they have the different paper sizes that you can choose.
and then you'll select continue and, you, and they offer free delivery so you can go the camera route to have them printed or if you need them same day you can just go to office depot and they'll print it for you but with office depot the same day printing they only print one side so you'll have this one so this is for both and then one if you need it same day and that's pretty much it so if you have any questions comments concerns you can drop them in the comment section below and i'll check you out in the next video peace